Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So this is very important video about Comet Quick 2025 fees payment once your results are out. So lot of students have this query, how we care, what are the different modes of payment, what are the charges and uh, about uh, the Comet K seat allotment, right? Once it is done, how they can pay. So let's first understand what are the different modes of, uh, you know, payments. So one is credit card, debit card. So when you pay by credit card, debit card, they charge convenience fees, right? Depending on which credit card company or debit card you are using, they can charge between 0.4% to 1% approximately. So if you are paying the college fees of say 3 lakhs, so 1% of 3 lakh rupees is equal to 3000 rupees. So you will basically waste your 3000 rupees if you are going for this mode, right? Or if it is 0.5%, it will be 1500 rupees, which will be additional charge. So that is called convenience plus there will be some service tax also service tax will be smaller amount it will be shown to you before your payment it can be 45 50 or 100 rupees like that so hope you understood there are two charges convenience charge plus service tax in case of credit card debit card you are using now this next mode is the net banking so in the net banking the good thing is that there are no convenience charges and very small amount will be charged just maybe 50 rupees 100 rupees for the you know the service part of it right and uh, that way you will save a lot of money but again you should have money in your account you cannot use any credit facility so this is what i will request all students to use net banking for paying your fees now again other payment modes like people, students ask me is it possible to add rtgs account can i do neft can i pay by cash can i pay by check dd demand draft please note these are all not accepted only you can pay through credit card debit card or net banking these modes are not at all acceptable so please ensure that you have a sufficient funds and transaction limit available on any of your credit card debit cards right and even the net banking has the transaction limit right so please note it down by default all the banks have fixed the transaction limit something like 20,000 per day right and you cannot uh, withdraw more than that unless you go and change it so all those students who are using online banking they can themselves change on its own but few for the few banks they will have to visit the branch so before the fees payment of the college allotted you should go and check with your bank as well as increase the credit limit debit limit as it is required or the net banking limit now the next important thing is what is the fees you have to pay you have to pay the total college fees for first year only you don't need to pay all four years fees at a time you have to only pay total college fees of first year. Some students ask, can I pay that 3 lakhs in uh, you know, multiple transactions like 1 lakh plus 1 lakh plus 1 lakh. That is not possible. You have to pay the complete comedy cake college fees in one transaction. No installments are allowed. Now, another important thing is pay always from your own account or your parents account. Please don't use any other relatives account for the payment of the fees purpose. Next important thing is that if any chance you are cancelling the seat and you don't want any seat in the later stage of the counseling and you want to get refund, refunds are going to come back to the same account through which you have made the payment. That's why I said don't use anybody else account, use either your account or your parents account. So somebody may ask, can I use my brother's account or sister's account? You can use their account, but you should have a confidence to get the refund um, credited to their account and take back the money. Next important thing is once you have a done a transaction, right? You should check the transaction status. If it is already done one time, don't immediately go and pay the next time. Otherwise, your 3 lakhs plus 3 lakhs, 6 lakhs may be deducted. So before making any decision making, check your transaction status again and again. And if required, you can also send email to the Comet Authority. They will give the separate email ID for payment status, right? Now, the most important thing is that there will be a window for which you can make a payment, avoid bank holidays because that point of time transaction may fail or if it is passed, then you may not get the immediate transaction status available. One more important thing, last a lot of students just start thinking and they 
don't take decision in time and the last day is passed so don't wait for last hour at that point of time lot of students try to do the transaction and transactions start failing and you may lose a time and you may your fees payment may not be complete so don't wait for others do as it is possible much before the last day now few students have also asked about the list of banks which are accepted by comed k authority for the comed k counseling 2025 purpose so i'm giving the all the banks available for fees payment so first bank is axis bank accepted banks are like axis bank bandhan bank bank of baroda bank of india bank of maharashtra then you can do fees payment using canara bank and then earlier there was a syndicate a syndicate bank which is now acquired by canara bank so syndicate bank also you can use now it is canara bank next one is the city union bank cub cub you would have seen then the other banks which are allowed is catholic syrian bank csb central bank of india cbi cosmos bank then in the global multinational bank side there is a dosh bank you can use dhana lakshmi bank federal bank which is very popular in south india hdfc bank which is one of the top 3 banks in india then you can do transaction with icici bank which is again one of the top 3 banks in india idfc bank idbi bank indest indusind bank then you have facility with indian bank indian overseas bank which is iob jammu and kashmir bank or jnk bank moving further on the big size banks which you have a kotak mahindra bank in the private sector karur vyasha bank kvb bank or karnataka bank which is popular again in the south india next from the north side you have a punjab national bank pnb bank very popular and now they have acquired oriental bank of commerce so it is also now known as pnb bank you can use it for the comet ke fees payment next one is united bank of india now it is also acquired by pnb bank so that is also you can be used ratnakar bank limit uh, uh, bank limited which is rbl bank and of course the state bank of india which is the largest bank of india standard chartered bank which is the multinational bank in india you have south indian bank which is again very popular in kerala and then all of the south india yes bank you know which is very popular in the uh, across north india union bank of india ubi and the last one you can see in the list is uco bank right which is available so these are all the list of banks which can be used for doing the comet ke fees payment and it has to be done in one single transaction so that's all in this video thanks for watching please do subscribe channel to get all important updates on comet ke ongoings take care and bye